Good morning. Welcome to the 28th Annual James A. Porter Colloquium on African American Art and Art of the African Diaspora. I'm Gwen Everett. I serve as the Associate Dean for the Division of Fine Arts in the College of Arts and Sciences and the Director of the Gallery of Art here at Howard. And on behalf of our President, Dr. Wayne A. I. Frederick, the Dean for the College, Dr. Bernard Mayer, our Provost, Dr. Anthony Wuto, I welcome you to this very exciting two-day program. In fact, on the website and in much of the information that you've received, you should know by now that the university is celebrating our 150th anniversary. And I think that deserves a hand. As my pastor is well known for saying that any institution with suntan people that can exist for that long, we need to celebrate. And we're trying to celebrate in style. The university was chartered by federal charter on March 2nd, 1867 as a university. And that's unique because some of the institutions that serve individuals of African descent began as institutes or colleges, but not as universities. Howard was established as a university. We've always been a university. You are, you are in, in now, now our medical auditorium. auditorium. Medicine was very much a part of the, co the curriculum early in our existence, as was the mechanical arts, which grew into the fine arts very early in our history. So we're very much a proud of our history and the importance of Howard in and on the world stage. We're on or here on Howard's campus, excuse me, for this very auspicious occasion because the organizers for this program are making acknowledgments to and celebrating of and trying to draw, a, draw our attention to places and spaces that have not always been accessible for people of color. We take it for granted that you can walk into any library and look at books today. That was not always the case. We take it for granted that scholars can go into archives of their choosing. That was not always the case. We have a history of segregation and Jim Crow laws in this country that prevented people of color from having access to resource materials that would further not only their scholarship, but the knowledge of others. So these spaces and places on campuses like Howard, on other campuses and in black communities are very sacred spaces. We often think of them as very hallowed spaces because they were often the only places where individuals could congregate for lectures on interesting and uplifting and often disturbing topics. These were the places and spaces where artists went when they were looking for research materials. You're reminded of the research that Hale Woodruff did when he was looking for information on that groundbreaking mural he did on the Amistad when he looked for archival materials and photographs, the place that he went was Yale. Or Jacob Lawrence, when he was looking for research on the migration. His parents were part of that, but he went to the library for the captioning information on that series that's so profound and even more poetic today. So libraries and archives have always been a resource and a place for artists, art historians, scholars, to find information, to be refreshed, to reinvigorated, and to look for inspiration. So today's topics and tomorrow's topics indeed pay attention to, make us look at and examine perhaps more closely, 
And I think the title that the organizers suggested for this um, program, again, is quite profound. Interventions, ruptures, and affirmation. That artists, scholars, those of us who seek to find, often have to do interventive work. That the ruptures, to be disruptive, to change and look at things and ask sometimes compelling questions, disturbing questions, things that can shake things up, and affirmation to affirm, to in fact make claim for things and often knowledge that we always knew existed, but in some cases was not as accessible to all. So welcome to this year's Porter. And it was the vision of someone who felt the need to reclaim, to affirm, and perhaps even disrupt the scholarship on African American art history, Dr. Floyd Coleman, who's here with us today. <laughs> who created this conference and chose to call it a colloquium, not to be elitist, but as he said, to create dialogue, to provide a place where scholars and artists and individuals who often could not find a space to present current research on African American art and art of the diaspora. So the Porter Colloquium has been going strong for 28 years, and Dr. Coleman, your ability to see the need for this, to honor James A. Porter in his groundbreaking work has not only been extraordinary, singular, and stellar. Thank you very much again, Dr. Coleman. I'd also like to just make note of the fact that we are celebrating today the anniversary of the opening of the Art Gallery at Howard University. On April 7, 1930, the gallery held its inaugural exhibition. We were then in Rankin Chapel and moved to Founders Library. So libraries and galleries, even on this campus, have very close affinities. And often on HBCU campuses, libraries and museums or libraries and art collections often share the same spaces. So again, this topic is very much important and timely. I'd like to conclude my remarks this morning by making um, a word of thanks and note to the organizers. Because the program is chock full of wonderful speakers and extraordinary topics, but it wouldn't happen without the work of these wonderful individuals who've worked tirelessly over this past year to bring this program to fruition. The names are on the back of your program, so I'm not going to name all of them, but I would like to note the work of the co-chairs, um, that of Professor Jacqueline Carmichael, who is probably working because I don't see her sitting in the audience right now, but thank you to <laughs> Professor Carmichael. And to one of the organizers who I have to make a little special tribute to or comment about, newly minted PhD, Dr. Melanie Harvey. <laughs> In fact, it was at Porter a few years ago. This young woman came up to me and said she was a Spelman alum. She was at Boston College working on her PhD. And she, I think it was her first Porter colloquium. And she was so excited to be at Howard. She was so excited to be at Porter. And over time, not only has she continued to come to Porter, she has been hired as a faculty member and is working very hard to of educating and inspiring young scholars and artists, but that she is the coordinator for this year's program. 
all at the same time defending her dissertation last week. So Dr. Harvey needs, I think, a little special <laughs> that she's still standing. <laughs> So thank you again for coming. It's been a wonderful uh, week of activities. Our students were in workshops yesterday in collaboration with the Driscoll Center, the Porter um, program with the Driscoll Center and the lecture by Thelma Golden last night, today and tomorrow, and the gala on tomorrow evening is indeed a special treat for all. Thank you for coming, and I'd like to turn the podium now over to the Chair of the Department of Art, Dr. Anthony Akitra. Thank you.